Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So I hope you're having a great day today. This is the 8th of February 2022 on Tuesday. So uh, today, after I wake up, I screen the charts, but uh, there are no trends right now. So uh, I took a morning uh, breakfast and also after lunchtime, I come back to the chart and I see still no trends. So uh, basically, I decided to take a leave today and uh, take a day off today. And after this, this is a recorded video. It's not live, but after taking this video, I will be going outside because I need to uh, stop by the bank and post office. And then most likely I will uh, go out for dinner afterwards. So I won't be back tonight. So uh, that's why instead of doing the live, I decided to capture the video so that you can uh, still learn something new on the things that I talk about today. So uh, yeah, let me switch the screen. Okay, so uh, just a quick disclaimer as usual, this content is all based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. So uh, today, I would like to talk about two things mainly. So one is what happened on EURCAD uh, uh, yesterday. I uh, did the analysis and trade on EURCAD by following 30 minute chart downtrend. So uh, first, I will review what happened afterwards and uh, check uh, what's going on in the market right now. And secondly, I would like to talk about the importance of um, looking back the basics. Because that's about the psychology, but recently, as I read the comments and emails uh, and also some chat with uh, GTS members, I thought this topic is very important uh, to master the strategy. And for your uh, you know, profitable trader journey, I thought this topic is important. So I will talk about uh, that topic, uh, importance of mastering the basics and come back, coming back to the basics we never have some difficulties. So based on these two topics, uh, let's get started. So first, let me talk about what happened on EURCAD. So if you haven't watched the live stream yesterday yet, uh, please do. Uh, I will put the link on the below description of uh, yesterday's live. So you can watch that because I talk about this pair and also talked about the entry edge. How I took the sell on this Euro CAD yesterday. I did the live and I explained that. So please take a look. But basically, what I was saying was that the uh, Euro CAD pair, this is daily time frame. And after the market reached to the resistance level of 1.4645, now it's retracing backwards. So yesterday was bearish and today the doji. But uh, this is still looks like still in the middle of the retracement. So I still expect the market continue to go down. And in this retracement, um, usually the market retraces back to Kijun Sen uh, in the daily time frame or the weekly time frame. Because if you see the chart in the past, like uh, in this one, for example, every time the market goes up and takes away from Kijun Sen, it retraces backwards to Kijun Sen. So in my chart color setting, Kijun Sen is the green line. So this one over here is a Kijun Sen. Uh, let me put this one a little bit up here so that you can see my note. So the green one is Kijun Sen. So every time you see the market, uh, you know, uh, goes up away from the Kijun Sen, then at some point at the resistance level uh, or at the Senko Span B level, the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. And this is the market behavior in the range market. And afterwards, once the market breaks the Kijun Sen bearish, and then at some point it retraces backwards and goes back to Kijun Sen. So now, after the breakout of the Kijun Sen bullish and the market touched the resistance in the daily time frame, now it's retracing backwards. So to me, this is still in the middle of the retracement. So I still expect the market continuously go down and reach down to the daily Kijun Sen on 
6-9 level. But uh, of course, this is not 100%. It may be supported at some point and it goes up also. So we need to continue to monitor. But in general, the market tends to retrace back to Kijun Sen. Is the basic behavior of market by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, uh, so with that in mind, if you look at the 30 minute chart, so we were sp speaking about the 30 minute chart yesterday's live, and we were at here, we uh, took the sell here, and uh, afterwards, the market has been going down this way. And this looks still, looks like this is still in a bearish P wave, bearish end wave. After this P wave, it has been a bearish in the wave in this uh, bigger picture. So to me, this is still bearish. So right now, for the last uh, one hour or so, the market has been um, going up, broke the Kijun Sen, but still, this is um, highs are lower. Highs getting lower and low getting lower still. So this is still bearish in price actually in the wave analysis. So I still expect at some point the market will be resisted and continuously go down this way. But uh, if the market breaks Kumo Senko Span A and also the previous resistance level, if the market breaks this level, then uh, it may turn bullish afterwards. So uh, we have to monitor the chart in that way. But uh, still, in terms of waves, this is bearish. So I still expect the market continuously go down this way and reach all the way down to the daily Kijun Sen, which is located here, down here, 1.4369 level. So uh, yeah, let's continue to monitor the chart today and we continue to discuss what happens tomorrow. So that's the Euro CAD condition. So if you took the sell uh, on the live stream together, then uh, you might already have exited because the market retraced backwards. And especially if you see the Tenkan Sen break, Tenkan Sen breakout, uh, that is actually one of the exit timings. Because um, this means that the um, the the Tenkan Sen breakout means that the uh, you know this is normal downtrending in the short term. Tenkan Sen shows short term, Kijun Sen shows mid term, and Kumo shows long term. So when you see the market breaks Tenkan Sen, that shows this is normal downtrending in the short term. So if you prefer to hold the trade on short term, this will be an exit timing. And if you are a mid time trader then you can exit at the breakout of the Kijun Sen over here. So this will be another exit timing. Um, what I usually do is I look at the lower time frames and look for the entry chance. But uh, if not, I take the Kijun Sen breakout for exit. Um, so uh, usually the market goes down this way and reverse backwards. But in one hour or 30 minute chart, the market tends to be bounced on the Kijun Sen and continuously go down this way. But if not, if the market breaks Kijun Sen in 31 hour, then uh, that will be one of the exit timings for me. So most likely in this case, I will exit on the Kijun Sen break. But the uh, market was uptrend on the bullish wave technically. So uh, you might want it to exit on this bullish candlestick also. So if you exit here, then you have no position. So you leave chart and you might be able to enter again at this support level breakout. Because what happened was at the support level breakout, again, this uh, Kijun Sen went down and Kuma also went downwards. So you could place a sell again and right now it traces backwards and you might be in a small loss or you might have exited already. But uh, this is still bearish in the bigger picture on the reversed in waves. So the market could go down from here too. So we might still see some selling opportunity 
on Euro CAD based on 30 minute chart. But once again, if the market continues to go up and goes into Kumo or breaks the resistance level, then you better not to look for sell chance anymore because afterwards it might be in uptrend or it might go into the range. So this is how I identify the market conditions by Ichimoku as it goes on. And uh, this is how I capture the market situation as of now. So like I mentioned on the uh, uh, Ichimoku video 1 to 5 series on part 1, it was about the philosophy of Ichimoku. And Ichimoku is really here to capture the presence of the market. And what that means is that we never know what's going to happen in the future. So we cannot predict the future and we're not here to predict the future, basically. But what we can do is we understand the current market situation as of now. Because if you understand the current market situation as of now correctly by Ichimoku, then you know what to do next and you know what you have to do next. If the market keeps going down this way from here, then you look for the sell chance, basically. But if the market reverses backwards and breaks into Kumo and breaks resistance, then you better either exit or you better do nothing because the market might be uptrending or ranging, but we can't tell which way the market might go afterwards. So like this, market changes over time and no indicator works 100%. No indicator works 100%. So you better continue to monitor chart and as it goes on, the market situation changes, just like the weather in the sky. Uh, sometimes we have rainy days, sometimes we have cloudy days or sunny days, and it changes over time. If you are in the country where you have a season, four seasons, then uh, in summer, in fall, winter, uh, in uh, spring, you know, you have the season, four seasons, and it changes over time. Nothing stays the same in the world and everything changes over time based on time span. So uh, that actually what Ichimoku is trying to capture. So please do not predict the future. Please do not expect which way the market goes. But instead, we look at the market as of now and create the scenario ahead so that we can react with less emotion whatever happens to the future markets and this requires experience and also risk management and psychological management too and that is the second topic i would like to talk about today is that the uh, you know uh look back the basics always so uh this is actually something that i got by email or the comments or uh you know uh, uh basically uh you know i get these messages every day and recently um, I've seen traders who are losing and who are struggling and you might be the one if you're watching this video and losing you might be the one also and let me give you the tip of what I think about the losses and when I don't do well and when I fail what I think so um, before when I was losing for the first one year I was losing and losing I lost one account and I created another one and I had 50% drawdown on the second account and that's when I came back to demo account because I was very dis discouraged and I was a bit uh, you know tired of these losses so at that point first initially what I thought was I will have to look for winning strategy I had to look for winning strategy because if I can find winning strategy then I can win trades and I can be profitable that was my mindset so I was hopping uh, from indicator to indicator from strategy to strategy from you know paid EAs to paid EAs robots to robots I was basically spending many time and money to try different strategies but um, to make a conclusion nothing worked nothing worked because um, I know the reason why nothing worked because I wasn't patient enough to continue to use one strategy at a time 
So let's say the market goes backwards in this example and let's say the market goes into Kumo and if I see this, I thought Ichimoku doesn't work because I thought that if the market goes down this way continuously or reverse in a wave and if you see me or if you, you, if you see someone talk about this market, it says downtrend but afterwards when you see the market goes up actually then uh, you might not want to believe that person because the analysis was wrong it went upwards afterwards so you start to doubt on what he says or you start to doubt on uh, the strategy of Ichimoku let's say but uh, for me that is not true that's not true uh, because um, if uh, so like I mentioned uh, on the previously you have to see chart as of now and that's all we can do and we're not here to predict the future we can't predict the future but we can um, logically build the future scenario and that's all we can do but in order to build the future scenarios logically and correctly we have to know the basics first so um, this is also the case where uh, people start to tr struggle is that uh, you know before mastering the five lines of Ichimoku they jump into time cycles they jump into price theory and they confuse themselves um, you know time theory and price theory are the part of Ichimoku theories uh, as well as the wave theories but uh, uh, without knowing the basics of Ichimoku you can't really understand the essence of these three theories and also there is a Kyushu Ashi strategy in Ichimoku also and also other strategies too but uh, unless you master the five lines of Ichimoku you can't really understand the essence of these advanced techniques and I think world works like this you know world works like uh, unless you master one thing you, unless you master basics then you can't really master the advanced techniques so what I try to say here today is that the uh, and this is based on my experience this, is my, this was based on my failure when I was losing but that the uh, if you start to fail and if you start to lose then come back to the basics come back to the basics is my message today because uh, what I used to do is if I lose then I thought that strategy doesn't work that indicator doesn't work and I, I spend time and money to look for other strategy other winning strategy other winning indicator but that was my failure I didn't come back to the basics but if I come back to basics after I lose then um, I should have been winning in a, in a quicker time I should, I should have been winning in a shorter span and I didn't spend so much time and money on these paid indicators and tools and strategies so uh, yeah so my message today for everyone is uh, when you start to lose then come back to the basics never go to other strategies never um, you know look into some other indicators but you know go back to the basics and what I mean by basics is that let's say are you if you're using Ichimoku Kinkohyo then come back to the basics of Ichimoku if you're using price action then come back to the price action basics if you're using moving average and come back to the moving average basics so whatever indicators you use if you start to lose then do not hop around but instead come back to the basics and then um, master the basics first you know in Japan we say uh, you know uh, clean the clean the gate clean the I do say clean the clean the door and shoes because uh, if we, you know in our culture in Japan uh, we took we take the shoes at the at the door and uh, you know we take the shoes so uh, but when we take the shoes sometimes when we rush and when we are busy uh, the shoes or be a bit mess so uh, and when the shoes are mess then uh, we say our psychology is also a mess so uh, clean the shoes and clean the door uh, on the shoes is 
or we say uh, in Japanese in, in a proverb. So, but same applies in the kitchen or a bathroom or the desk. Um, so this is also one thing I would like to ask yourself is that when you start to lose, is your, is your table clean or is your kitchen clean or is your bathroom clean or is your room clean? If it's not clean, then please clean first and then uh, you know, start to study the basics again. Most likely, when you start to lose, you have some psychological frustration and that frustration leads to some messy rooms, messy, you know, these uh, uh, desks and also kitchen. So uh, that's why I say, you know, every time you have to clean the kitchen, clean the table so that you can clean your mind as well. This is, I think, part of the meditation. But uh, it works uh, very well for me. So every time I, you know, come come to desk and uh, start to watch charts before I meditate five minutes, and then also I clean the table. I place the tissues in this uh, clock, this uh, you know my mobile, this uh, you know these uh, mouse and keyboards. I place all the parts uh, where it should be, where they should be and then start to see charts so that uh, I can reset my mind uh, and uh, see charts in very objective and in rational way. So uh, yeah, so to make the long story short, if you start to lose right now, then uh, please focus on the basics first and then clean this, clean the desk and clean the room and clean the kitchen, clean the bathroom is my recommendation. Uh, please try. Yeah, because it works very well and uh, please do not hop around indicator to indicator strategy to strategy because um, this is also my experience is that the uh, when I lose when I start to lose and when I start to lose confidence I start to see these videos where people trade and make big profits or make big you know uh, uh, yeah profits basically every time I see these YouTube thumbnails where people earn many, uh, so much money, so much, you know, a good profits, and people buy this and that, these fancy things. I start to see these videos, and that's when I start to feel frustrating on my performance, and that's when I start to lose, and that's when I start to mess my mind. But if you don't mess, my, mess your mind, and if you're sharp and focused on what you have to do, then you shouldn't be attracted to these videos uh, because you know what you have to do and you just look back the basics and master the basics first and backtest and learn uh, from your experience and learn from your own trace. Yeah, make sure to make sure to backtest and also make sure to uh, journal your trace also. So uh, yeah, I think that is important. Uh, to share today, so uh, I just uh, introduce what I feel every time I see these comments for losing and the frustration after the losses. So, uh, oh yeah, looks like Euro CAD is coming backwards now, so this is not a good time to sell. We have to wait for the pullback and go down this way, otherwise we better not to do anything like this. So, you know, simple mindset. We have to see things very simple. When we start to gain knowledge, when we start to gain uh, information, then uh, our way of thinking might be a bit complex and very uh, complicated. So uh, please uh, do not confuse yourself with all these knowledges and information. Please stay sharp and please stay simple and please stay focused. Uh, with the basics first and then I think you should be fine and then backtest and uh, see your performance over time uh, and you should be fine. So that's the topic for today. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video session. If you liked it, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great. And uh, yeah, so I will uh, see you tomorrow then. So until then, please stay healthy. And stay safe and stay gold. Right back for now, everyone. Matane.
Thank you.